I'm the author of Don't Let the Memory Spade and the creator of Brain Health Matters, a series of courses, programs, books, and of course, these shows, all designed to help you become healthier overall so you can enhance and protect your brain and prevent dementia. And today we have Kim Murphy, a plant-based health coach on the show. I'm very excited to be chatting with her. But before I bring Kim on, I'd like to share an event coming up next month. I've never done this before, but in honor of Veganuary, I'd like to invite you to join me for the month of January for my 28 days to a healthier brain. And we're going to be exploring everything plant-based. I've got a, a cardiologist lined up. I've even got an acupuncture puncturist who talks about how much healthier her clients go are when they go plant-based. So that's a really interesting thing. And we have a couple of cooking segments and some easy little like lives. We'll do something really simple. I don't want this to be hard. I want this to be fun and easy. So everything we're going to do for those 28 days, I'll be posting information in the show notes and I'll also be sending out emails. And of course, we'll be talking about it in the group. But today, I have with me, and I'm going to put her up here so you can see her as well. But today I have with me the perfect person to bring in this because this is my last show for the year, Kim Murphy. Kim is a certified plant-based health coach and the founder of Simply Plant-Based Kitchen. After losing her father to Alzheimer's, she knew she needed to commit to a healthy plant-based lifestyle and was inspired to help others do the same. She's here from Cedar Park, Texas, and she has a husband, Sean, and two boys. And are they vegan or plant-based, uh, Kim? They, yep, they eat my food. Yep. Yeah, they bloody well better, huh? <laughs> they better. <laughs> Otherwise, you're, you're not hungry. eating. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. So I'm so happy that we have so much in common, you know, with our, our parents. So tell me a little bit more about your adventure or your process here with your dad. Yeah. So, um, in 2018, I lost my dad to Alzheimer's and, um, at that time, um, in before I lost him to Alzheimer's, I didn't know that it was preventable with plant-based eating and, you know, old school doctors telling us, oh, well, it's just hereditary. You know, he can take the meds and, you know, it'll slow the progression, but it, you know, doesn't really. And so the last 10 years of his life was just, you know, really just so so sad and difficult. And in, um, Christmas of 2017, he didn't know who I was and, um, passed away in April, 2018, just a couple days after his 83rd birthday. Um, and you know, one blessing is that I say blessing. He, he had, he ended up having a stroke and, um, my brother and I were able to come down and stay with him the last couple of days of his life. And so, you know, at, at least we were there. Hopefully he knew that we were, you know, by his side. Um, so that's somewhat, you know, a little bit of a blessing, but, you know, after losing him and then I was turning 40 in June, I was, you know, and I was already experiencing brain fog. I was overweight. I was tired. I didn't feel good. Um, and you know, I kind of dug back into the research because funny enough, I actually did a plant-based diet for a short time after the birth of my second son, trying to lose the baby weight and it worked. I lost weight and it was, I felt great, but I couldn't keep it going. It was just, I I just was making it too complicated. And so it didn't last. And then, you know, years later, I find myself at 40, you know, just looking down to the future of like, you know, this is going to be my future if I don't do something about it. And so I really dug back into the research and that's when I found out that Alzheimer's is like what 95% preventable. Like, and I was pissed because I was like, if just one doctor had said something, you know, had been up on the research, you know, maybe we could have slowed the progression, you know, maybe we could have done something early enough when it, when it was the early stages and there wasn't a whole lot of cognitive, you know, you know, problems. I mean, it was like, it's like 10 years. I know know my mom, it was the same with my mom. We went through exactly the same thing. All the doctors just said, you know, she's just, it's going to happen. There's nothing you can do. Just like suck it up buttercup basically. And just, you know, just wait for the time. Now my mom eventually died of cancer with Alzheimer's because she had had cancer before and, Mm -hmm. and it it came back and that was what ultimately killed her sort of like your dad's stroke. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. But to see those last years, the, 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 the vacancy, the, mm-hmm. 
Oh, it's so painful and it heart wrenching. Is. It is, you know, and he would just become so agitated. He didn't know where he was. He was, you know, just afraid, you know, because if you don't know what's going on, you know, it's just how scary that must be, yep. uh, you know? And so anyways, that's kind of, that's what really started me back on the track of whole food plant-based eating. And this time I was like, no, I have to commit to this. This isn't a diet. This isn't a temporary, just trying to lose weight thing. Although I did, <laughs> kept yeah. it off, but it was really focused on what's the best thing that I could be eating for my health, for my energy, for my kids' future. I, I was not going to put my kids through that. You know, when you know that information, when you go down that, how can you willingly, you know, do yeah. that? You know? Exactly. Yeah. We, mm -hmm. we have an obligation to ourselves and, and like Dr. Amen, I'm an Amen licensed brain trainer as well. And, and he says, you know, it's not just for us. This mm -hmm. is for all the generations following us because there, there is a, a degree of a genetics in this. Yes. But by, by changing the course of the, what we feed our genes, we're changing mm -hmm. the course of our families. Plus also Absolutely. it's so much better for mental health too. And mm -hmm. that's definitely something that follows through generation Absolutely. to generation. Yeah. I've noticed a bit, I mean, within just a few weeks, the brain fog was gone. I mean, it was so quick, just clear headed. I could focus longer, had so much more energy, but not just that, like I saw it in my kids too, like their behavior improved, their mental health improved, you know? And it was just like, okay, this is real. You know, I'm just, I'm seeing it in myself. I'm seeing it in my kids, you know, my husband. And, you know, it was like, okay, we have to commit to this because I mean, there's just no other way. Yeah. Good for you. And that you, you were able to get your kids on that path so early because the earlier we do that, the much better, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It's cause it's, and it's funny, it's easier on my youngest cause he was younger, you know? Sure. So it's just, it is as soon as like, as early as you can start them, you know, just don't wait, you know, start yes. that transition. The, I've, I've said that all along. I, I have a little bit of trouble cause my grandkids are not really eating particularly well that their, their mom's busy. Everybody's busy, right? Yeah. Everybody has yeah. this thing and they're working out of the house and, and all this, but I would so like to get them, but my grandson, this is what his, he's nine. Yeah. And when I was home last time, um, he said, Oma, I, I, I use the German form, form of grandma. He says, Oma, how come you don't eat animals? How come you don't eat meat? And I said, well, I don't eat animals. And he says, but, but don't we have to eat animals? <laughs> I said, no, that's why Oma has so much energy so she can play with you all the time. Mm -hmm. But he just couldn't wrap his head around it because it's, it is so far out of their lexicon for most people. It's just yeah. like you can't, they can't understand how we can have more energy and how we can feel better. So for you, obviously the brain fog lifted, which worked for me too, losing bunches of weight. How about with your hubby? How did he mm -hmm. respond to this? Oh, he was, I mean, he was all about it. You know, his, I think he basically told me as long as it tastes good, I'll eat it, <laughs> you know? And it's like, he, I mean, and he's noticed a difference in himself too. He feels better. His energy is better. You know, he lost some weight. And so it's, it, you know, I'm lucky. I think that a lot of people don't maybe have that kind of support, you know, that would just have a husband and be like, Oh yeah, sure. I'll give up meat, <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, but I, I really worked at finding recipes that he liked and my kids liked and, you know, things that they would enjoy and, and taking old classics and turning them into a healthy you know, whole food plant-based version. So it wasn't like all of a sudden we're eating salads all the time. No, right. we're still eating, you know, pasta marinara and lasagna and, you know, Southwestern dishes and, you know, all those things. It's yeah. just, they're just tweaked a little bit. I, you know what? One of my favorites is, is um, like a shepherd's pie, a vegan shepherd's mm -hmm. pie with the lentils and everything. It's so incredibly delicious and lots of vegetables, way better than any traditional one that I ever had. It has so much more flavor. And maybe you can speak a little bit too, because mm -hmm. I, I want you to tell people about your, your programs, because mm -hmm. I bought your I think it was the six month program that you had. I think that was what it was. I bought, bought mm -hmm. so much so many <laughs> recipes lately, but <clears throat> the, the point is if we have those options, if we have something that we can go to and say, look at how great this is. And the spices, what about spices? Mm -hmm. Because I think that's oh, yeah. made a difference in my life. Yeah. I think that's really important and not being afraid to like really, you know, add more spice and herbs and things like that, because I would try different recipes and I would think, man, this is really bland. And so I was just like, you know what, I'm going to double 
the amount of spices that they call for. And, you know, it just really made a difference. Um, and, you know, like you were talking about the six month plan, that's probably in the meal planner pro that you're talking yes, about that, that was just it. have, mm-hmm. yeah, that has, um, six months of meal plans and really simple, you know, ways to get, you know, the whole week cooked for and in just a day, um, easy recipes. I, I would take recipes apart when I was doing, you know, and I still do this is if I see something and I'm playing around with it, I'll be like, why does it have 15 steps? We don't need 15 steps. We could do this in one pot. Let's all throw it in and, you know, double up the spices and walk away. You know, yes. it's gotta be easy. It's gotta, it cannot be complicated or time consuming because that is why I fell off years ago uh, trying, you know, trying to lose weight because I was busy. I had two young kids. I was working 60 to 80 hours a week. I didn't have time to cook for two hours at the end of the day and have it taste terrible. Like, no, yeah. sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, it I'm with be you easy. Yeah, yeah. Like, and, and I, I'll, I'm sure just a tiny little bit. I was vegan back in 1989. So there were, there was no help. There was like mm, yeah. very little information and I got really, really sick. And I'm going to be up front with that. People don't do it right. You can get really mm-hmm. sick. You know, yeah. I, I, I dropped about 60 pounds in like no time. And I, and I wasn't that big to begin with. And I became anemic and I, and I, I just, because I was working, I had a new business at the time and I was just stressed beyond stress with just with the business, but yeah, I became vegan because of a downed cow on, on a, um, a PETA flyer. So that's how long ago I started that, yeah. but I had to stop for, the, mm-hmm. for many of the same reasons. I, I didn't have time to cook. I didn't know what to cook. Mm-hmm. I didn't have the advantage of your 60, six month <laughs> meal plan. You know, right. but there were so many things that I didn't have access to. And mm-hmm. I, I like to stress to my clients, this is not where you can have baked potatoes and cauliflower. Like I tried right. to do, you yes. have to think about it, but can you, can you address a little bit about how it's not just us that has to do this. Everybody needs to do this. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Because it's just, I mean, it, it just makes such a difference in your, your health and how, you know, your whole family, you know, interacts. And I mean, my kids used to get sick all the time. I used to get sick all the time. And now, you know, I, I, rarely ever have even a cold. My kids rarely ever get sick. So they're not missing school, you know? So it's just, it it just really makes a big difference to, you know, the people around you and the more people that you can, you know, you know, be the example for, cause I know a lot of people say, well, you know, so-and-so would never do it. Or my husband would never do it. And, and I, and I get that and you can't make somebody do it, but you have to be the example, you know? And then through that, I've had lots of clients like they they said, oh, my husband will never do it. And then just by watching their examples, starting to taste some of the dishes, and then they see how their spouse just improves, they lose weight, they feel great. And then they want some of that. And they're like, yeah. okay, I think, you know, I think I'll give this a try for just maybe, you know, a couple of weeks. And then once you get into it, you don't want to, you don't want to stop because you feel so good. You feel so good. And it's so delicious. Yes. To me, like I, I, my husband even says, and he's, I, I had a hard time getting him off the cheese, but he's off the cheese now. But, but he even says he never had so many different delicious meals mm-hmm. before we went this way. Yeah. Because it's just, it opens up a whole new, like Greek, Italian, it doesn't matter what um, nationality of food, doesn't matter what kind of food, like it's, it's all there. And we have an air fryer now. Oh my gosh, do yeah. I love my air fryer? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's something maybe you can also address about, you know, equipment and stuff like that. Is mm-hmm. there anything special that makes it easier for someone who might be considering this? Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. What's my favorite appliances. I keep it pretty simple. I do have an air fryer. I don't use it often. Um, because a lot of times I can just do stuff in the oven and do bigger batches and, right. you know, well, yeah, being you a, family a family of four, yeah. I have a family. So it's like, you know, um, I would say my Vitamix blender is <laughs> like worth <laughs> the investment. And I held off for over a year before I got it, because I was like, I'm not spending that much money on a blender. Really? A ninja can do this. And it was, I finally, I burned my ninja motor out. And so that's why I was like, well, I guess I have to get one. And, um, shopped around trying to, you know, get the cheapest one. And I found one at Sam's club and I was like, all right. So I take it home and I make like some kind of, you know, sauce or something. And it was just like, I have been missing 
out on like just the incredible creaminess and ease, you know, it just really blends things up so well. And because the dressings and the sauces are so mm. important, yes. you know what I mean? And yes. so that, that, and probably my food processor, you mm -hmm. know, to just really save time. I'm, for example, um, making chickpea salad instead of oh. mashing chickpeas up with a fork, which I used to do finally it dawned on me. I was like, why don't I just pulse these in the food processor. And I was like, it was like, shoop, 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 done, you know, yes. and it was like, I'm not smashing with my, you know, hand. And so yeah. just little things like that, you know, that really save time. I would say those are probably my two favorite appliances. Yeah. I have to say those are my, my two Ooh, yeah. instant pot though. It can't, can't got to say, you know, instant pot. I use that a lot for, you know, rice and some, you know, soups and, and things like that. Yeah. A lot of people have that. I just have a regular old fashioned crock pot and I, I mm -hmm. use it to make yogurt actually. Oh, I use it cool. But yeah, I made uh, I make homemade coconut yogurt here because mm. um, coconuts are so plentiful and inexpensive here in Ecuador. But I'm glad you shared that because I also that when I we, when we were moving here, the thing I asked for for Christmas the year before we moved here, because I knew we wouldn't be able to get it here in Ecuador was mm. a Vitamix. And, mm -hmm. and Lynn's like, are we really going to spend this much money on a blender? Yeah. And yeah. I said, I promise you, I will use it. And I literally use it mm -hmm. every day. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So. If anybody's got any questions about that, we'll, either one of us will be happy to help. Now, I want people to know how you can help them. I know that you have a gift. So tell mm -hmm. us about that. Yep. So I have a free guide. Um, it's called simple steps to a plant-based diet and it's seven simple steps just to get you started because I, I don't want it to be overwhelming. So I just give you what you need to get started right away. Um, and you can go to simply plantbasedkitchen.com slash free guide, um, and down and get the download link. Um, and you'll be, um, sign up for my email list and I send out recipes and tips and other freebies as well. So you'll get actually a whole lot more um than just that one free guy seven days yeah i'm on a mailing list folks and i gotta tell you i i'm always coming up i'm, I'm always seeing something that makes me want to try something new in my kitchen so i have to say and i've been doing this quite a while but this has been just uh to, that's why i invited kim because i i found this uh this her website and just just love it and i think you would find it very valuable as well and even if you aren't 100 percent plant-based yet this is a great way to just you know, yes. dip your toes in the water. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I think that's really important because a lot of people, and I'm, I'm the same way. I'm kind of a perfectionist and I'm learning, I'm learning to, you know, deal with my perfectionism and I'm kind of an all or nothing person. And I've had to back off and say, no, I'm not going to be all or nothing. Because again, that was another reason why I fell off you know, years ago is because I was all or nothing. Well, if I can't do it yeah. perfect, I just might as well not do it at all, you yeah. know? And so many people feel the same way. And, you know, so you have to come at it, especially in the beginning, when you transition of, of, of giving yourself grace and saying progress, not perfection, you know, just flipping the script from the standard American diet to more plants at the center of your plate. If you just start there, you'll start to grow, gradually crowd out the calories and you'll start to develop, you know, really enjoying eating that food. But, you know, so many people, you know, changing habits is hard, especially, yeah. I mean, I was 40, you know what I mean? So it's like 40 years of eating meat and chicken and potatoes and cheese. And so it, I totally understand how hard it can be. And you don't have to go hundred percent, especially in the beginning, just take your time, you know, experiment with different recipes, learn as you go and just try to do better and better. That's it. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. I, I so agree with that. You know, um, a lot of people, like you said, perfection paralysis, and, and that mm -hmm. stops you from even starting. So don't yes. let that happen to you folks, as you consider and we're going to hold Kim's um, information close to our hearts as we come back in January to do our veganuary and I know you're going to love it. And we'll just, uh, I'll probably be um, sharing more of Kim's recipes from her website with you too, so that you can really dive in and try different things. That's the thing. Enjoy your life. And you know what, when people come up to you and say, and I had this happen so many times, um, you can't get enough protein. You can't get, how are you going to get all your vitamins and minerals? Kim quickly, I, we only have a little <laughs> bit longer, but tell us yeah. how we can address that. Oh yeah. It's such a myth. I mean, and you can just really do the own research on your own as well, just to really look it up, but all the plants 
have all the protein and all the amino acids you need in varying amounts. So by eating a whole food plant-based diet with a variety of foods, you're going to get all the protein you need more than even the minimums. And really, you know, the, the what is the recommended daily allowance is only 10%, yeah, 10% yeah. of the calories. And, yeah. you know, you don't need 20 and 30 and 40 and 50% protein. You don't, no, it's no. especially from animal products. That's really hard on your kidneys, you know? Yes. So you're really harming your kidneys. So many people have undiagnosed kidney disease. It's like a silent disease. You don't know it. You have it until it's too late. And, you know, more and more Americans are getting diagnosed with that. And so, you know, plant protein is much easier on the kidneys, um, and as, as well as rest of the body. So you get plenty of protein. There's no worry. You know, that's just not even something that ever crosses my mind. And I don't know anybody who's protein deficient. Do you? (laughs) I have never met. I've met a lot of people who are fiber deficient, but, and that comes from not eating enough plants. Right. So yeah, it's a really important point. So thank you for addressing Mm -hmm. that. Kim, what's your website again? So we can let people jump Mm -hmm. in. Yeah. Simply plantbasedkitchen.com. Um, and if you just add slash free guide at the end of that, it'll take you straight to the, where you can sign up to get that free guide. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you, my dear, so much for, for getting yourself healthy, for helping your family and all the other people that you are helping now and in the future. Thank you so much for having me. This has been awesome. Perfect. Take care. Thank you. Thank you.